Anna Vucic. Uh, she will tell us about dynamic matching models. Thank you. Uh, so uh, uh, this talk uh, is uh, uh, based on uh, joint work with uh, my colleagues, uh, uh, so uh, uh, Ivo Adan, uh, uh, Varun Gupta, uh, Jean Marais, uh, Pas uh, Sean Main, Pascal, uh, Pascal Moyal, and Guido Weiss, and uh, Sean is uh, here in the audience. So uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, very grateful to uh, uh, Sid uh, for his talk this morning because uh, he introduced uh, many notions that uh, will be relevant is this, uh, in my talk as well. Uh, and uh, uh, for those of you that uh, uh, attended and appreciated his talk, uh, the main difference here will be that uh, I will consider uh, open uh, matching uh, models, uh, uh, in contrary to a seed that has the uh, closed, uh, uh, well, matching version of a closed queuing system. So. Uh, I will first start with uh, uh, some performance evaluation of uh, first come first match uh, uh, model and uh, uh, then uh, move uh, uh, towards uh, the uh, um, policies that uh, need uh, less and less information and uh, uh, I'll end the talk with uh, some uh, results on optimization. So uh, I don't think uh, I need to go into the details uh, here, but uh, everyone knows uh, um, to some extent uh, um, a static version of matching models uh, that has been studied for a, a, a very long time now, uh, since uh, uh, the 30s. And uh, since then, there, uh, there are many, many applications in uh, uh, different uh, fields. And uh, in the last uh, uh, maybe a uh, 15 years with uh, uh, more and more um, uh, importance of uh, um, uh, online advertising, uh, we had uh, uh, seen a new uh, uh, wave of uh, results on matching models, uh, but uh, here uh, in the context on uh, online matching. Uh, in that line of work, uh, there is uh, uh, one population of uh, uh, let's say, uh, resources uh, that uh, are known in the system. And then there are uh, requests that uh, come according to some uh, uh, stochastic process, uh, or uh, even we have uh, uh, some um, partial knowledge about uh, uh, the process itself, and we need to make decisions in real time. And uh, my talk uh, will be uh, um, Going further uh, from uh, uh, that one side, it's uh, uh, dynamic matching, and try to uh, uh, see what happens when both populations come according to some uh, stochastic process in the system. And so uh, our decision that we need to make is uh, uh, how to uh, uh, do uh, uh, the matching. So here is one uh, uh, um, motivation for this type of uh, uh, models, uh, which is a uh, kidney uh, living donor uh, program. So uh, you have uh, uh, patients uh, that uh, have uh, family members uh, that uh, are willing to donate uh, a kidney to, uh, to, their, uh, uh, to the relative or friend. But unfortunately, uh, they are not uh, compatible. And so uh, they can sign up into a program uh, where there will be other donors and uh, uh, patients coming in, in and uh, uh, so uh, the, uh, the objective is to uh, match as many as possible of uh, uh, pa uh, uh, patient uh, donor pairs. Uh, another application uh, from a, um, maybe now uh, even more than 25 years ago uh, is uh, a public housing uh, where uh, you have uh, um, uh, families uh, that uh, come with uh, different requirements. Uh, maybe uh, they have uh, um, kids that need to go to the school, so they require that in the neighborhood there is uh, a school. Uh, they uh, have requests for the size of uh, the house. And uh, uh, also there are houses that uh, come with their descriptions and uh, uh, they're in different neighborhoods and uh, of different sizes. And so, uh, what, uh, uh, what they uh, uh, considered is the uh, policy that is uh, um, 
when a house uh, becomes available, it is uh, uh, given to a family that uh, has been waiting uh, the longest, uh, longest time in the system and that is compatible with, uh, with the house. So uh, why first come first match? Because in this uh, application, uh, we, uh, uh, we have uh, both a uh, list of houses and list of families that are publicly available. So uh, it is very difficult to justify that uh, uh, there is a family waiting for a very long time. There is a house that is compatible with, with the family and you are not going to allocate uh, this to the family. So it's uh, somehow it captures notions of uh, fairness. So this was the first uh, a policy that was uh, uh, implemented in this context. And uh, so uh, a mathematical model for this uh, problem uh, has been uh, uh, posed by uh, uh, Caldentri, Kaplan and Weiss in 2009. And uh, uh, then uh, they uh, studied very simple examples uh, where they were uh, able to uh, solve uh, the system due to the uh, uh, state space collapse uh, uh, under uh, different uh, um, simplifications on the uh, matching structure. And then uh, uh, Adam and Weiss uh, uh, managed to uh, uh, give the, um, uh, to, uh, the full description of the um, uh, matching rates between different types of uh, uh, um, uh, families and houses. And uh, uh, so I will concentrate on the uh, uh, result uh, on the uh, uh, performance uh, evaluation of uh, this type of models uh, that is uh, uh, actually, uh, we can prove that uh, this uh, first come first match policy has a product form. So, uh, but uh, uh, let me uh, uh, describe the model a little bit more in detail. So, uh, it is very close to the uh, classical uh, um, uh, call centers model from uh, uh, stochastic network uh, networks literature. So, uh, there you have uh, uh, different uh, types of uh, customers and different types of servers uh, that can serve uh, some classes of customers, but not uh, all of them, and. Uh, uh, the matching variant of, uh, uh, of this uh, skill-based uh, system is uh, uh, making the uh, complete symmetry between uh, uh, two classes that I will call supply and demand classes. And uh, uh, so you replace a service by uh, arrival streams of uh, the other population. And uh, so we assume that uh, the match matchings are instantaneous and uh, uh, the, the, the items that uh, didn't find a match are stored in um, a buffer for each uh, class. Okay, so uh, in order to give you uh, ideas on uh, uh, the, the result uh, uh, for product form, I will uh, uh, move to a, a more general, a general uh, uh, class of models where I'm uh, removing the restriction that the uh, matching uh, graph is bipartite, and we will consider uh, any uh, graph, and uh, this is compatibility, uh, um, the edges denote the compatibility among different classes of items that can uh, come in the system. We assume that this graph is connected, otherwise we can just look uh, pieces uh, in, uh, connected components in separation. And uh, we have arrival sequence that are idea according to some uh, probability distribution uh, mu. So uh, first come first match uh, policy, uh, so yeah, meaning that uh, uh, an item that comes in the system looks uh, uh, among all possible compatible uh, items, the ones that is the one that is uh, staying there for the longest time. Okay, so uh, we will denote by uh, uh, um, WN the word of unmatched items uh, at time n. Note that now we don't have two uh, populations, just uh, uh, just one word. So. Uh, just uh, uh, one example uh, to make sure that the model is clear. Uh, so at time uh, uh, zero, uh, we have empty word. So uh, uh, we start from the empty system. And then here a vertical uh, line denotes the time. So at time uh, one, uh, we uh, have item one that arrived in the system. And uh, uh, then at time two, we assume that there is item three that arrived in the system. They are not compatible, so uh, the current word is one three. 
and so on. Now there, uh, there is item four that can be matched with item three. So uh, we, uh, we are only left with one and uh, so on. So we are back to the uh, empty system and we uh, continue. Okay, any questions so far? So uh, let me then... Uh, Just to clarify for that picture, obviously if there's multiple copies of an item that can't get matched, they all get stored. Yes. Yes, and uh, you are, you are going to uh, uh, really keep uh, uh, the order of uh, each uh, of, of the unmatched uh, items. This is why showing uh, all the changing is time on the on the <coughs> segments are of time. Sorry. Is there a reason why you're numbering like that one three four? Is there a reason why? Oh, oh, that's just a. Oh, this, this is. Uh, Imagine the arrivals are taking place like that. Yeah, these are arrivals have taken place like that. Uh, it's uh, unfortunate that I started with one. <laughs> is it broken arbitrarily? Uh, well, there are no uh, ties here because... Uh, so for example, you got uh, items for three and one. Mm. And first come, one. first uh, matched. I'm looking... There's a common queue. Oh, I see. Into it's it's just, nodes. yeah. It's across the nodes. Across the nodes. Okay. I'm glad you asked. Uh, okay, so uh, first uh, we are going to look uh, into the uh, um, stability conditions for, uh, for this and uh, uh, for our necessary uh, uh, stability uh, uh, conditions uh, we will have equivalent of uh, Hull uh, theorem but uh, here for the general uh, matching graphs and uh, uh, so uh, we will be interested into uh, the uh, arrival uh, probabil uh, 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 probabilities that are, um, that, are uh, that lead to the positive recurrent uh, um, Markov chain, and uh, uh, so these are uh, my necessary stability conditions. But here, expressed for a general uh, matching graph, uh, and uh, uh, so. Uh, uh, Jean Marais and Pascal Moyal uh, show that uh, uh, these uh, uh, necessary conditions are non-empty for, uh, for a graph that is connected on, uh, if and only if uh, the graph is non-bipartite. Okay, so we will come uh, back to the idea of the proof uh, later on, but we need some uh, e uh, extra ingredients here. Uh, so. Uh, here is uh, the first result. Uh, so, uh, uh, for a first come, first match policy, uh, we have a maximal stability region, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, stationary distribution uh, has a product form. And uh, look uh, that uh, you uh, you actually can recognize the uh, uh, necessary conditions for the. Uh, um, for the stability, so uh, here I have a uh, product over uh, the uh, probability of uh, a class uh, uh, of uh, element uh, uh, WL, and here uh, I have uh, the probability uh, of uh, all the other classes uh, that uh, uh, can be matched uh, with uh, 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 the elements that are currently in the system. So, okay, uh, there is uh, unfortunately very ugly normalizing constant sitting here. So uh, we uh, didn't completely solve the uh, performance uh, uh, evaluation of this uh, model, but uh, uh, at least we know that uh, it has product form and this then can be used for uh, answering various questions uh, uh, such as, for example, matching rates. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll give just the uh, idea of the uh, proof. Just, I'd like to understand your notation one second before you. The, uh, there's an independent set for this graph, that's I. And, you know, the E of U on top is the, is the neighbors of uh, the independent for? No, when you say E of I, is the neighbors of the independent set? Uh, e of uh, I... Uh, where is that? Down there, new necessary condition. Uh, here. Yeah. Ah, here. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it turns out that on, I only need to look at uh, this for um, uh, independent sets. Right. Okay. Uh, and so uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the, um, all the um, uh, classes that can be matched by the classes that are in subset uh, I. 
but, but the way that you've defined it, you have to be enabled, right? Uh, yeah. So these are, I, I'm starting from the uh, uh, compatibility graph that was uh, right, given right. previously. Right. Ah, that, uh, right. that was given, right. yeah. The, statement is the, the service rate or the arrival rate of items on the independent set should be less than that coming on the neighbors. Exactly. Okay. And strictly less, uh, so it's really similar to what uh, Sid uh, showed for the bifurcated case. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll uh, uh, give you just an uh, idea of uh, the proof because I find it quite intriguing uh, because uh, uh, we struggled for years to, uh, to show the product form and it turns out that uh, uh, we uh, didn't include enough of information. So uh, it turns out that uh, uh, when you include uh, uh, much more uh, information in the system, then everything simplifies, and uh, uh, then on this detailed description of the system, you can uh, show the product form, and then you also obtain the product form to, for the system we, uh, we want to study. And uh, let me just uh, give you a notation uh, for this uh, uh, that I will use in detailed description. So uh, this is just reversal of the word. Uh, and uh, we also need a ghost space to memorize who got matched uh, with whom in the past. Uh, so the ghost space is just the copy of uh, the original uh, um, vertex space. And uh, uh, sometimes we would like to mix uh, the items and their ghosts. So I will denote this in a, a bold uh, V. And uh, so then we uh, define two uh, processes that, are, uh, that live on this uh, uh, words uh, uh, whose elements are in uh, bold V. Uh, so first chain uh, is uh, the chain that tracks the history. And uh, we are going to, uh, at each time n, we are going to look uh, what is the uh, oldest unmatched uh, item uh, in my system. And uh, from th that oldest uh, unmatched item until the current time, I'm going to track uh, either the identity of the unmatched item or the uh, ghost of uh, the uh, item that got matched with my item. So uh, similar for the future, I'm going to uh, define uh, a future chain uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, looks uh, at the, uh, uh, the item that is going to be matched the furthest in the future with an item that we already observed. And I'm going to also mark uh, the, uh, the ghosts uh, for the uh, for matched items and uh, leave the items uh, as they are uh, for unmatched. So uh, to uh, understand this, here is an example. Uh, so here, as I uh, said, uh, I'm uh, uh, observing uh, item one, and uh, it is going to be matched with item two. So I'm already marking this uh, item by ghost of one, okay? And uh, here is how uh, chains uh, B and F evolve. And uh, for these chains, I can show that uh, 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 they both admit the stationary distribution that is extremely simple. And uh, the way to prove this is to show the reversibility. But it is only possible on these chains and it's extremely difficult on the original chain. So uh, I uh, started with bipartite model. And I showed you general matching graph by saying that uh, bipartite variant can never be stable, right? So what's going on with bipartite version? In bipartite version, uh, we are going to uh, have uh, arrivals that uh, come in pairs, one demand and one supply item at each time. This allows us to consider uh, a stability uh, uh, of the system. And uh, these are... Uh, complete resource pooling uh, conditions. Uh, and uh, similarly here, uh, we obtain a product form using exactly the same ideas, but here the ghost processes become a little bit more complex because you also have different populations. So that's why I wanted to first show you on the uh, 
general matching models uh, because the idea is much simpler. Okay. So you're saying by far in case of your stability? Yes. I thought the term earlier was that, that you don't have. Uh, for ah, because I went fast on this. Uh, Oh, okay. Got it. Now I change the arrival process. In order to have stability, I need to have the exact amount of items of both populations. Okay. So. Sorry. Uh, Uh, so uh, they uh, um, they managed to uh, uh, show uh, uh, exactly the same product form, but uh, doing uh, without uh, reversibility uh, proof. So this is much simpler proof. They used uh, skill-based uh, queuing systems and then uh, 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 product form uh, for that, and then they used projection on this. Uh, uh, space, but uh, it was not the same uh, um, state description, uh, so we can take this offline. But uh, so it's not so it's not uh, the same process that they considered. If the arrivals come in a pair of customer and server, donor and, and donee, they you can actually treat one node as a pair of customer and server, and then you basically get a non-bipartite matching graph that you were talking about before. So that's an excellent remark. Uh, so um, if I'm looking at uh, kidney pair donation, I need to make sure that I treat uh, the, the pairs uh, because otherwise uh, people uh, will just run. Uh, when you take organ of a donor the, uh, uh, and give it to a, a patient, well, the other donor is just running uh, somewhere else. Um, so uh, I do not uh, consider this, uh, uh, this is, uh, um, just uh, open uh, variant of uh, matching models, so I, I do not take this into account. But uh, uh, you could uh, consider that as uh, uh, arrival pairs are just uh, uh, one node, and then I'm back to the uh, uh, non-bipartite case. So um, I don't have much uh, more time, so I'll just try to uh, uh, guide you through it. Uh, I will, uh, um, uh, I will just say a couple of uh, um, results uh, uh, about other uh, policies uh, that do not need to, uh, to take into account the complete uh, uh, description of the uh, uh, history that uh, uh, items arrived in the system. Uh, so uh, here, um, Imagine that, uh, so we, have, we know what is the uh, matching graph. Now you can also take the support of the uh, uh, probability uh, arrival distribution uh, and uh, consider arrival graph. And then you can uh, look into associated directed graph where I'm taking the uh, uh, orientation from, uh, well, this should be demand, demand to the supply. And in this graph, I'm looking in the other direction and uh, then the result is that uh, uh, we have uh, um, non-empty uh, stabil uh, stability region uh, I mean necessary uh, conditions uh, if and only if the uh, disassociated graph is so strongly connected so it's very easy to check and then in that case any uh, matching policy uh, has a uh, uh, unique um, uh, connected component, circuit connected component, uh, uh, and uh, f starting from any state, I'm uh, going to this uh, component. So uh, then uh, uh, we also uh, heard a lot about uh, much uh, the longest or max weight policy. Uh, it is uh, also uh, a policy here that has maximal stability region. And uh, the proof is uh, just uh, using quadratic Lyapunov function, but on a randomized policy because we have some non-monotonicity issues uh, that, uh, that are making the uh, direct analysis more complicated. So going to the uh, using network flow arguments, it's, it's much simpler uh, for a randomized policy. 
Okay, uh, there are policies that do not have maximal stability region, uh, such as priority policies or much the shortest. And uh, to answer your question, uh, when we look uh, into, uh, there are lots of uh, links between non bar and bar uh, variant. Uh, so uh, here, uh, I can, uh, uh, I can cons uh, I'm back to the non bar ca case, and uh, uh, I can consider uh, another uh, representation of this. Uh, uh, non bipartite case uh, as I can represent it as a bipartite case this time and uh, uh, where I will have copy of uh, uh, each item uh, sitting here and so we were suggesting going from this uh, description here uh, and then we can just uh, recover all the uh, results that we uh, had for a uh, bipartite case uh, for the uh, uh, non bipartite case, and uh, this was done by uh, Maris and Moyale in uh, 2014. So uh, uh, I'm uh, running out of time, so I'll just uh, give you a summary of uh, the optimization uh, that we, uh, problem that we uh, considered. So uh, this is joint work with uh, Sean Mine, and uh, we looked into the uh, heavy traffic uh, regime for these uh, models. And uh, uh, so, first of all, what uh, heavy traffic uh, here means. Uh, so, uh, for this, we need to uh, define what workload means. And workload uh, in matching models is hard to define because uh, what is workload in queuing models? So, we consider current status of the system, we stop the arrivals, and we look how much time do I need to empty the system. Well, here, if I stop the arrivals, nothing will ever happen. So uh, this is the, uh, uh, the first uh, uh, problem we encountered. And so, uh, OK, so, uh, just uh, a little bit of notation. So we considered the, uh, 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 let's say, just linear cost function. Uh, and uh, uh, we are trying to, uh, uh, this allows us, for example, to minimize the uh, uh, Q sizes. And uh, it's useful when we want to study the delays in the, in the system. And uh, uh, so in order to define the, what the workload here is, we need to look into the uh, uh, recess polling conditions and identify which uh, conditions I, uh, condition is the, um, the closest uh, to, uh, to its boundary. And so, uh, uh, so as you can see here, uh, for any subset of the demand set, I'm uh, looking into the uh, amount of items that belong to this subset uh, minus the amount of items that can be matched with uh, this subset uh, D. And uh, then uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, is a natural here definition of workload because uh, it gives us the time uh, needed to uh, reach, uh, to empty the system. But here we need to consider arrivals. Okay, do I have two more minutes? One more minute. One more minute. Mm -hmm. So I'll skip uh, uh, the details and uh, you will have slides and there is also uh, archive paper. Uh, I'll just give you uh, the main result. Uh, so uh, it turns out that uh, 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 under this uh, heavy traffic set, uh, setting where we uh, look at, uh, into one work, uh, workload vector and we uh, uh, let the uh, uh, difference between uh, uh, the uh, probabilities of uh, arrival probabilities go to, uh, go to zero. Uh, in that case, uh, we can uh, get, uh, we can design a policy that has, uh, asympt that is asymptotically optimal with bounded regret. So the regret does not depend on this uh, delta that tends to zero. And uh, the uh, policy uh, is uh, in a, uh, a mixture of um, uh, max weight policy, uh, but, uh, but with the weights. And uh, so we have uh, H max weight uh, policy, but we also need thresholds. Why do we, do, uh, we need thresholds? Because uh, to make sure that we will not have uh, uh, a starvation of the class that, uh, that, uh, that is hard to match. So this is, this is the, uh, uh, the high level idea. And, uh, and uh, 
these are uh, some uh, numerical results. So you can see that uh, uh, this is a weighted max weight, and then we can decrease the, uh, uh, the, the costs uh, further with this policy. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Can you imagine a distributed uh, uh, policy where resources were choose independently what, where they match and similarly for the, the, the items? Uh, so for the um, for the stability, uh, I can because uh, it turns out uh, that uh, um, a policy that uh, uh, just uh, looks into a random class that is non-empty also has stabil maximal stability region. So, uh, and uh, the proof is via uh, um, um, once uh, type of uh, construction. So uh, uh, then for optimization, uh, it's uh, an open question. Oh, this, uh, Sid has a quick question. Is there any notion of a natural notion of truncation for a uh, for a natural notion for? For truncating that process? So similar to like a closed system for the vaccine, but to this define a truncation process for this one and still within the system? Mm, I don't know. I think we should uh, discuss uh, this. Uh, so uh, something like a finite buffer model where you yeah, reject yeah. arrivals if they come to a system that has uh, so I didn't uh, think about that. I was uh, trying to do uh, models with abandonments, uh, but this is extremely hard. Uh, so uh, yeah, so I, I didn't look into the uh, uh, final buffer version of it. Thank you.